There's been uh, several uh, bills introduced this session to address the, the problems with the pension system. I think that's the good news is the problem recognition is there. Uh, I think that while it's been ignored um, a lot uh, for decades, I don't believe it's being ignored anymore. The problem recognition is there. Uh, so that's step one. Uh, now step two is um, decision time on exactly how to address it. Um, I think most of those bills have, have not made it very far because it is a very politically motivated uh, subject and that's why we're in the situation that we're in. Um, the one bill that is alive, in my opinion, is the single biggest fix that you can have on the unfunded pension liability and that is to not grant COLAs unless they are funded. Every election year for the last 20 years, we have granted COLAs but not funding them, funded them. That's every election year for the last 20 years. We've granted COLAs, but we have not funded them, except for last year. Uh, and in other words, we've told the pension systems, you've got to increase benefits. We're just not going to give you the money to do it. You'll have to take it out of the system. Um, and in many cases, they've just counted on uh, growth in the fund to pay for that, which is ridiculous. Um, so. Uh, I think it's a problem that took decades to create. It's going to take decades to get out of it, but it's imperative that we have to address it now. And the reason we have to address it now is the rating agencies, Moody, Standard & Poor's, Fitch, they're going to start using our unfunded pension liability, which for us is $16 billion, as part of our debt load for our credit rating, which means we could get our credit rating downgraded. If we get our credit rating downgraded, our cost of debt, uh, when we uh, sell bonds to um, uh, build roads and bridges uh, is going to be higher and we're going to be paying more interest costs which means less money that can go to other important core functions. So uh, it is a huge problem. Um, it's a problem born by irresponsibility. Um, we don't have to fix it uh, and make it whole tomorrow but we do have to set a plan in place that gets us there and that's what the rating agencies are looking for. Uh, you need to put a plan in place to get yourself out of this hole that you have dug. And I, I'm hopeful that, that's, uh, that the time is right to do it. Um, it's, it's not just an Oklahoma problem, it's a national problem. Uh, everyone is talking uh, in each state. We see what's going on in Wisconsin, uh, which is a little bit more extreme than, than what's going on in, in other states. Um, in our state, uh, I think that, um, that those uh, people that are involved, whether it be uh, public employees, uh, teachers, or the, the different systems understand that changes have to be made. And so far, we're not having the animosity that some other states are having in, in trying to uh, come up and address the problem with solutions, um, but the devil will be in the details. And so we'll, we'll see you know, if that lasts. I hope that it will, because I think it's a choice not between getting a COLA or not, I think it's getting to the point where it's getting a retirement benefit or not. Um, you know, I'd rather have a retirement benefit um, than have the system go bankrupt because no, nobody wants to address a, a politically difficult problem. So uh, I do think the time uh, has come to fix it. I think that um, our state leadership is of that mindset that it has to be fixed now and I'm hopeful that it will be. The single biggest fix is the, is the one bill on retirement system, the retirement system that's still alive, and that is stopping COLAs unless they're funded. And so if we can get that in place, uh, that's a, a huge part of the battle.